What is up guys, Tristendo here. Today we're going to be doing a video that's a little bit different and uh, a little more fun. So today we're going to be seeing what's in my tech bag 2022. Let's tech it out. is the bag. This is the Peak Design Everyday Bag 20 liter version one. And the reason I chose the version one over version two back in 2020 when I got this uh, was because, well one, the color in charcoal was a little better. They don't really offer the one with red accents in it anymore. And uh, two, there are certain features in the inside that only version one has that version two doesn't have. And the next thing I really like about this bag is that there is like this magnetic security lock. So for those who don't know how this bag operates, they will try to like pull on it and will try to lift it. But there's actually a certain way that you're supposed to open it up. For the average person that isn't familiar with this kind of bag, they would just try to lift it. And I believe the feature from Peak Design is called Maglock. So that's one of their design choices here. It's super cool. You can actually fit a bunch of stuff in this top compartment. And so that's why there's different levels here. So it goes all the way up. So you can fit like your tech items, your clothes, and it goes all the way up. So when you open this, the two things I usually carry in here are if I'm planning to game that day on the go, my Nintendo Switch OLED in a travel case, and my iPad Pro in the Logitech Combo Touch case. So if I already have my MacBook Pro, I usually just detach the keyboard from this. So I wouldn't even carry this uh, also, keep in mind that a lot of the stuff I'm carrying in here, um, it's not my everyday carry. I actually plan ahead and choose what I'll be bringing ahead of time. So it's usually only like two of these items at a time. And so in this compartment, other than the iPad and or Switch, uh, I usually just put documents that I need, uh, a notebook, uh, snacks if I need them in here because it's pretty big. So you can see the space in here is pretty large. All right, and now on to the top compartment. This is supposed to be for laptops. Um, so of course, in here, I carry with me, if I ever need it, M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch. Um, this laptop is perfect for what I use it for. It is super portable, it's three pounds. So I guess it's not the lightest laptop in 2022 that you can get, but it's definitely up there in terms of like really small weight and form factor. So I really like this, it's super light. Uh, and the 13 inch size actually fits really well in, in this model of the Everyday Peak Design backpack. And the reason I say that is because it's actually like really tight in this compartment. The 13 inch kind of like really maxes out the laptop size in here. So I think the highest you can go is like a 14 inch laptop. If you go any bigger, it might really be pushing the limits of this laptop compartment, which is kind of weird. And I believe they fixed that in version two of the Everyday Peak Design backpack. Um, they made the laptop compartment bigger. So if you have a 15 inch, 16 inch laptop, I definitely don't recommend this bag if you're gonna be carrying around your laptop all the time. There's also a tablet compartment in here. Because of what I just said about the laptop size in here being really cramped, the only thing I leave in here is a Peak Design uh, magnetic tripod part of their mobile set. So uh, I'll be covering more of that later in a separate video. But yeah, I don't really put anything in the tablet compartment. Uh, the iPad Pro 11 inch barely fits in there, especially with a case. So I would recommend only putting something like an iPad mini. That would probably fit the best in there. Let's go ahead and open up the sides. So this is primarily a photographer's backpack. So they have these side compartments that open up. And basically what you do is you sling it if you're out in the field and you want to pull out your camera. So that's why they designed it in this way. And it's super cool. So in here, it, I usually carry my Canon EOS RP or M5. This one is just a, another backup camera I have to show you since I'm recording on the RP. Uh, but yeah, I, I carry my Canon. I usually have at least a 50 millimeter lens on here. And I also carry an extra lens, uh, usually a 24 to 105 if I need to go out into the field if I'm doing client work, uh, photography or video shoots. But if I'm just planning to have a casual day, I also carry 
the 8-bit Doe Pro 2 controller. Uh, you can map it to three different devices. I did a reel on it on my social media and YouTube shorts, so make sure to check that out. But uh, yeah, super versatile controller, so you only need one for multiple devices, and it works on every device I pulled out so far. So yeah, basically the compartments look like this. And it's actually really cool too, is that you can actually, there's a Velcro in here. So if you don't want to have these compartments and you want to just take them all out and have a big space, you have that as well. In the bottom compartment right here, I actually dedicated this bottom section to everything charging related uh, that has to plug into the wall. This is a Canon uh, battery charger. So I have my battery in here. This part goes into the wall. Pretty straightforward and super helpful. This one is a MacBook Pro 13 inch uh, power adapter for the wall, USB-C. This one's a 61 watt. I usually just bring just this one and it charges all of my devices and it also charges the next item I'm going to show you, which is the Anchor power bank. This is actually super cool because it's actually verified for the Nintendo Switch. So the exact model here is the, so this is actually the Anchor Power Core 13400 or 13,400 Nintendo Switch edition. So the, the reason I chose this is because it is verified uh, to charge the Nintendo Switch efficiently and quickly, and it's safe. It's, uh, it's officially branded with Nintendo. Um, so it's super helpful, especially since I game on the Switch a lot. It uses quick charge and power delivery. So it's super cool. Uh, it's, it can charge all my devices, my MacBook Pro, iPad Pro, and Nintendo Switch, uh, because everything's on USB-C, even the controller. So this one power bank charges all my devices. So that is why I chose this one. I've actually had it since this switch came out. So this is actually a pretty old power bank. All right, and so while we're here, let's go ahead and open up this compartment. So I mentioned earlier that the version two uh, is missing some features. In version two, they actually got rid of this zipper here. So I really like the zipper on the side compartment here because it keeps everything in place. I can store random small items here, but also once you open it, it already has little pockets. So actually in the pockets here, I store SD cards, so it's especially helpful when I'm on shoots and especially when I'm recording a bunch of video or photos. In here, I kind of stored the Razer RGB cooling fan. Definitely something super extra. It's good for when I'm cooling my external SSD when I'm editing or just cooling my iPhone since it's MagSafe. It's something super cool that I'll cover later, but I'll go ahead and just place that here. All right, here's one of the external SSDs I'm using along with a Thunderbolt cable. It's like super short. And, I have one more external SSD. This is the SanDisk one terabyte. I totally recommend this one. Uh, I believe this one's the Extreme SSD branding. Had this one for at least a year now, super helpful. Uh, considering that my MacBook Pro is a base model, I edit all my videos and photos off of SSDs. So these are pretty much essential uh, considering the amount of storage I have. All right, so on the other side, it's pretty much identical except for the fact that the compartments are actually a little different looking. Um, they are wider. So while the other side was definitely more focused on fitting small cards, SD cards or uh, Nintendo Switch cartridges, this side is for bigger items. So I st decided to store all my charging cables in here and then I have a little Velcro cable management system right there. USB-C to USB-C for the iPad Pro. Apple Watch charger and yeah that's it. This side's from usually I also store my DJI Pocket Osmo 2 if I need it. Um, other than that these are definitely just for my chargers. Something I almost forgot to mention actually is in this top compartment, there's a hidden magnetic pocket in here. And inside here, because of how small it is, I store one thing and one thing only, my AirPods Pro. Super helpful and it's super easy to access. I just open this and I just take it out from in here. So yeah, it's really convenient. It's my go-to spot for that. Also, it, on the sides, you can put your, your water bottle, uh, hydro flask. The hydro flask I have usually fills out this really far. It stretches it out really far, so I try not to use it a lot. But in here, I usually just put my toothbrush, an extra toothbrush when I'm out, pens if I ever have them, business cards. And the cool thing about this bag is that it actually comes with these straps in here. So, screw it up. Pull, they're hidden in here, but if I were to pull them out, you can use this hook to hook other items to your backpack. This one is actually for the Peak Design Anchor that it comes with. I attach that to my Canon EOS RP. Just clip it on and you can attach your camera or any other device that you attach the anchor to. And on this other side, it also comes 
with these same hooks that you can hook together. Don't really utilize these all that often, but I imagine if I were going on hikes, you can use this to attach the other strap so that it stays more secure. There's a whole bunch of different functionality to this and it's super cool. Another thing I didn't really go over, basically the zippers also have an anti-theft feature so you can lock it so that no one can pull it off right away. I don't use that all the time, but when I'm traveling, I utilize that feature. And uh, yeah, I mean, this backpack is just full of functionality. I like that it's customizable. And really importantly, I like the fact that it is aesthetically pleasing. I'm gonna be using this backpack for a really long time. Another thing that I wanna mention is that there's also a secret magnetic pouch down here. You can actually pull these straps out and then this is what would be used to like carry a towel rolled up, extra shirt. Um, a popular use case is carrying a tripod since it's a photographer's backpack made for photographers. So that's super cool. All right, so I believe that covers every secret compartment nook and cranny. So uh, yeah, keep in mind, I don't carry all of these items at once. Uh, that'd be especially bad if I was robbed, but uh, these are definitely items I carry on the daily. At least I alternate through them. Usually a Switch, an iPad Pro, or iPad Pro and MacBook. Uh, the ones I carry around with me are definitely the chargers and the power bank. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I really like these. These are super functional. And these are all things I use every day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe so I can continue to make videos I hope can help people with their tech decisions. And now, uh, if you leave me to it, I'm going to put everything back in this bag now. That's a lot of stuff.